guys, what's up? <laughs> hey there, guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, Try Not To Get Lost. I'm your host, Chris, and today, as you can see, I'm here with someone special. If you guys don't know who the hell she is, like, where are you? Where are you? <laughs> exactly. If you guys haven't seen our last video, uh, we did, what would, did we do? Travis Scott. Travis Scott McDonald. So that's our last video. Go check it out. And this is my friend, Patricia, Patty. And today we're going to be doing something new that she has never done before. And I haven't done yet. I'm excited. So right before we start this video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And make sure to give a comment and let us know what we're going to do next in the next video. But today we're going to be trying Starbucks fall items slash drinks. Um, you've never had a pumpkin spice latte no. or anything. Pumpkin that anything. is the caramel. So you have the caramel. This Salted caramel something. So we have a salted caramel. I think this is a mocha. A salted caramel. Uh, Salted caramel mocha, and we have, of course, the typical pumpkin spice latte, which is every white girl's dream. Yeah. And honestly. then we try to get as many desserts as we could that are pumpkin spice or like fall season related, but there wasn't a lot at our local Starbucks. So we have the pumpkin muffin, yeah. which is like a cream cheese stuffed muffin, and the there was no pumpkin spice or pumpkin bread at all. And is that the pumpkin that's bread? That's the pumpkin bread. No, that's not the pumpkin bread. That's the pastry. The pumpkin bread is just bread by itself. That's kind of nice. Yeah, it does. Okay, so, mm -hmm. okay, so we're gonna get right into this video. As you guys can see, it is raining. It is a wet day. It's actually cooler than usual. So fall vibes. If if, if you can't even say Miami that. Fall vibes. Yeah, because I really wish I could see a leaf turn brown. <laughs> Anywhere. Nothing. <laughs> so right. yeah, um, I want you to try your your salted oh. caramel mocha and tell me what you think. I'm I don't know. I've never had that before. I don't think I don't have a clear recollection. I've only ever had one drink at Starbucks. How is it? It's pretty good. What I like it. Taste like? Is it salty? It, it's salty, bro! <laughs> it's definitely gonna wake me up, that's for sure. Oh, like, no, yeah, it, for it sure. It has that in it. Bro, who drinks coffee at 3 o'clock in the afternoon on a Friday? That's what my mom told me. She goes, coffee's not for the afternoon. I'm like... Oh, uh, no, no, yeah, no. And I'm gonna get into this pumpkin spice latte. I'm gonna make love to this pumpkin spice basic, latte. The basic one. Mmm. Yeah, I missed that. It's actually really good. It's really good too, actually. I've never tried that before. You wanna put your straw in there and try it? Can you put a plastic straw in there? And hot in coffee? There? Let's try it. Let's try it. Ooh, look at that. Wait, hold on. Look at that. Look at the foam. Aw. Hold on. Look at the foam. Look at the. What is that? Cinnamon? <laughs> yeah, cinnamon. The foam and cinnamon. It's Every cinnamon. white girl is dying right now. Let me know. It's hot. Mm hmm. <laughs> It is hot. I didn't anticipate that for some reason. What does it taste like? That little hot sip. It's like creamy and the pumpkin. Pumpkin, right? And the cinnamon. I got cinnamon, a lot of cinnamon yeah. in that. Like I said, it's kind of like a Christmas drink, even though... Cause like, I've I don't never know tried you... eggnog. Is that similar? No, I have no idea what the hell eggnog is. I don't know. I know it's alcoholic. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Eggnog is alcoholic. Over my head. But I like, I just hear like the word egg and like drink and like a drink that has eggs in it. I don't know how I feel about that. It's like creamy, I know that. It's, it's not a very Miami thing, Miami. Oh, no, I've seen that here. It's like, what's coquito? Everyone tries to coquito, pass off yeah. coquito as Yeah, I don't have theirs. that either. I don't know. That's a Puerto Rican thing. It's our thing. But it's oh, delicious. Man. Oh, did you want to try this? They even mm -hmm. have a straw. Mm. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Ah. Yes. I'm getting the salty now. Cinnamon, pumpkin spice, and coffee. I don't know if you know this, but in Italy, they don't have coffee after like seven o'clock in the morning. So what do they drink? They don't drink coffee, they drink espressos. So they'll go to um, a bar, right? So a bar over there is like a coffee shop or just like a, a drink shop. But like for us, a bar is like a bar where you go to get yeah. like wasted. <laughs> um, for them, a bar is like, il bar is like where you go to get your espresso at seven in the morning and you go, it's like literally a little tacita, which is a little cup if you guys don't know. And that's it. So that's a shot. It's like your shot. Yeah, so it's a shot, shot of coffee, coffee. And you don't have an espresso. You don't have more than a shot. And you don't have um, espresso after 7 o'clock in the morning. More. They don't give you more than that. No, they can. But, like, it's not typical. Like, in the, mm -hmm. their typical culture, like, the way they do it is they have, like, we Americans, we go to, I mean, I don't know about me and you. I don't, I don't, I don't go to Dunkin' or, or Starbucks every day no. for the coffee. I'm not a coffee person, per se. But, um they what they do i would like that though if i had an espresso machine that's what i'm gonna try to get for christmas is an espresso machine so i could like do my little espresso in the morning take a shot of espresso because who knows what 2021 machine, is gonna be but like i have a coffee thingy my dad got it for me i don't know that 
little one that you have everywhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like the Cuban coffee thing. Yeah. Yeah, I've been begging my dad, like, oh, come on, like, let's bring a coffee machine to the house. And he's all like, no, you and I are the only ones who drink coffee. I'm like, exactly. Yeah, We're finally two machine. versus two. Let's get go. Get an espresso machine. No, we Trust didn't get me, that. Because her mom's all like, space. Space in the kitchen or whatever. And I'm like, that's For coffee. big. But she hates coffee. Everyone hates oh. the smell of coffee in my house. So. Oh, the smell of coffee. Mm-hmm. So it's just me and my dad. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Before, it used to only be my dad. So he actually had a coffee machine, but he had to throw it away because he was the only one drinking it. And now I drink coffee. So. What the? Mm-hmm. If that was my house, ain't nobody throwing nothing away. <laughs> like, what? If someone buys my something... My mom is a force to be working with. Oh, no, I know. I feel you. I feel you. But, like, when it comes to, like, food and, like, stuff like that, like, nobody really, like... For a long time, he couldn't have eggs in the morning. No one likes eggs. I'm trying to not make this messy. How are we going to split this in half? I didn't think eat about this. Half or eat a little less I, oh, than wait, half. Hold on, look. It has like little um, nuts on it. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure what. What's this in the middle? Cream cheese. Oh, so cream it's like, cheese um, makes everything better. <laughs> so it's like pumpkin. It's like a pumpkin muffin, right? With like nuts on it. And then I'm not sure what type of nuts these are. And then it has like, it's really good though. I like the nuts. That and then it has cream cheese filling. Amazing. I hope so. I really do. And this is a really nice color orange. My favorite color is orange. Very so. fall looking. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do? Hold this. I'm gonna invent something. I'm gonna MacGyver this. Ready? Here we have the pumpkin muffin filled with cream cheese, and I'm just gonna split it right in the middle, make it messy. And let's oh God, this destroy. Is- this is some. What is this? Uh, satisfying ASMR or whatever. <gasps> oh. Oh, okay. 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 Period. Wow. You actually did it. Here we are. Your hands so, uh, do you want this one? And I'll just like I'll stuff this in there. Yeah. <laughs> this is great. Wow, Cheers. Wait, wait, wait. Cheers to fall. Cheers. Ready? Mmm. Mmm. This is fire. Mm hmm. That's what I was going to say. Mm hmm. I told you the cream cheese would make it amazing. No, but it's not even just amazing. It's like, um, how to explain it? The nuts help too. The, what is it called? The batter mm-hmm. is like moist, but it's not like too, mm-hmm. the whole it's thing like, is... it's not like too, too, too moist where it's like, kind of like, um, how do I say, like rancid mm-hmm. in your mouth when you're like chewing it. Because I have sensitive teeth to like That's sugary awesome. things. And the cream cheese is just like fire. Too bad it would be so good, like in an eclair or something. The, the cream cheese. Mm-hmm. But like different. Batter or the whatever. nuts help a lot too. Like the mix, all of it. I love it. Mm-hmm. And it's not dry, which is awesome. It so really I good. asked. It is really good. So we went to Starbucks. I asked, like, can I get one of each? Like, literally, I just read out every single item. <clears throat> and the lady was like, whatever we don't have blah 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 as this is happening okay it's pouring raining okay it's raining and i have my witness here i have my window all the way down so i can speak through the speaker and literally i have rain like and like the whole car is wet and i'm literally on patty at this point yeah. like yeah can i get some bread <laughs> and can i get the pumpkin bread so you i can't hear drowning. the lady you're drowning in your own i can't hear the lady at all because of the rain so whatever and then i'm literally like can i get four of the muffins or something like she's trying to say like what she has i'm like can i have and she's like there's no four muffins and i'm like okay damn it was rude just rude i want to say rude why don't we have luck in drive throughs because the last time too for the travis scott video lady mm, you're right we don't have luck it's just you when i go to the drive throughs <laughs> the people are so nice to me well i'm sorry and i'm nice to them obviously blessing and a curse i guess mm. oh thank you Okay, good. This is good. 10 out of 10 recommend. I would actually like it a little bit better if there was more cream, cream cheese. cheese. Cream cheese, because then it's just like this by itself. Yeah, I already finished the cream cheese, I guess, or the part with the cream cheese, mm-hmm. and now it's just the rest of it. I don't know if you noticed, but there's like little um, pieces of like cinnamon in there too. Is that what that was? Yeah, the little dark um, spots. It's like little uh, it's pieces delicious. of cinnamon. It's really good. I never tried anything pumpkin, and that was actually... Very good. Mm, now you have two things. Are, mm-hmm. Is that pumpkin too? No. I don't think so, right? But you have but this. But that was. Yep. So you. And this is this next one. And you have no idea what pumpkin bread is, right? No. It's just like bread. It's like banana bread. I love banana. But bread. instead of banana, pumpkin. Okay. So. I've never had banana bread though. What? It's delicious. Mm. Like if the person makes it right. <laughs> it's good. I'm not that really into bananas. 
tastes a lot like what we just had, where it's moist, and soft, and just easy to eat, not dry. And it's just banana. I don't know. Like, it's really good, though. Very similar to that. Okay, so I have an announcement to say. I don't have a sweet tooth. Like, I'm not a sweets person. Like, I'm not crazy about sweets. At all. Like, I could have, like, for example, I could you have... crave, like, a vanilla shake in the Hell no. Day? Hell no. Burger King. Hell Their no. shakes are amazing. Oh, no, I know. The little the little vanilla shakes. Yes. I, I, I saw it in a mug bag. Oh, but I've never had it. We have to go to Burger King. Wait, let's go. We have... Right now? <laughs> Make it a double mug bag. Let's go. go to... You want to go to Burger King? I would love to go to Burger King. That's my favorite place in the world. It's Wait, right for what? There. Just for the shakes? I mean, what are you going to eat at Burger King? I mean, I'm not going to eat anything at Burger King. If anything, we'll go for the shake. <sighs> Whole other video. <laughs> no, I, I, let's go to Burger King. We're going to Burger King. Girl, don't do it. It's not worth it. I'm not going to do it, girl. I was just thinking about it. I'm not going to do it. I did it. Oh, Sorry. it's recording. I, was, I didn't I even was, know we were recording. That. Yeah, no, I do that. I'm sneaky. <laughs> I'm sneaky. <laughs> Oh, great. Now you're going to put in the footage that's like, almost not bitch. officially in it. I'm a sneaky little bitch. Okay, so we went to Burger King per Patty's request. Oh, yeah. And so she lost her pumpkin virginity, and I haven't been to Burger King in 10 years, so. I'm taking your BK virginity. Even though, you know, I don't have that shit. But um, anyways, we got straws, right? Yeah. Perfect. So this is the little, is this new or no? This has, like, been there oh. forever. The minis. Oh, the minis are new. Yes. Okay, so this is the mini. It's awesome. Burger King vanilla shake. The straw is bigger than the shake. It's perfect because when you get like a big ass burger and fries and everything, then you have your shake. This is perfect. <laughs> Personally. Personally, okay, Personally, okay, that's a perfect. personal thing. It's a personal thing. Uh, so I don't try know. Not this to be kinda... such a fat ass, like. But if you're gonna eat Burger King, go all out. Like, oh, yeah. what's the point no, of no, going no, to Burger King? No, no, I'm talking about like during the day. You're on your way home and you're like itching for something, but like, nah, there's food at home. There's never get food a little mini. What are you talking about? There's never food at home. What are you talking about? You gotta really we don't look. Eat at home. You gotta really look. <laughs> we don't eat at home. We're skinny. Oh man. There's no food at home. What the by, way, the, by the way, the best thing about this is to let it melt. Like that's what I do. That's what I'm assuming because I try to like you, drink uh, it. You let it melt for what a while. What if I? And then it's delicious. <laughs> mm. Anyways, this started off as a coffee run, as a Starbucks run. We Starbucks finished, Burger we King. Like Burger King. What a mix. Starbucks Burger King. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna let this melt because like, I'm not gonna be sucking on that. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you more of a chocolate girl or a vanilla girl? Ooh, for the longest time. Or not even vanilla. either. Vanilla. Vanilla? No. Vanilla is my thing. I don't know. Me it's always too. been that way. And then, like, if you were to ask me to, like, oh, what, what ice cream do you want? Be cookies and cream. That's as far as I'll go with okay. chocolate. Like, I like chocolate naturally, but my go to is cookies and cream. I and don't like chocolate vanilla. naturally. Really? Like chocolate. Um, because the reason being is I have this again, we're talking about my gag reflex. <laughs> Every time I eat chocolate, it's a mix of my teeth and my gag reflex. So when I eat chocolate, I um I feel it in my teeth, like I feel my teeth itching. Mm -hmm. Like when I eat chocolate and like I'm biting it. That I happens just, with anything cold for me, naturally. Not like, cold, just like chocolate. Mm -hmm. Where I feel like it's a lot, like when I feel a lot of like sugar, it usually happens with sugary food, but it happens all the time with chocolate. Well, that's why you don't have a sweet tooth. I don't, exactly, but I want to, but the other thing with chocolate is not just that, but then every time I eat chocolate, it gets stuck on the, you know, the top of your mouth right yeah, there. The and then it's just like, it just stays there and just feel like, and you're just like, mm. mm -hmm. that's why I don't eat chocolate. Mm -hmm. That happens to me with certain foods, not chocolate specifically. Like crackers, if you were just to have crackers just mm -hmm. by itself and get stuck on my. But room. like you know, like crackers are bland. Chocolate has like a specific, and if it's like dark chocolate, which is healthier for you. I hate dark chocolate. It's so like I got to a point where I can't have milk chocolate, no dark chocolate, whatever. I'm like, and one time this is like a random bit of like randomness. I can't have anything with caramel in it because one time when I was like younger, when I was like eight or something, I had um I used to get. No, this I'm saying. Caramel. I know, but listen to what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> you know, when you go to the McDonald's thing, it has the caramel, and it's like pure caramel, mm -hmm. or like a chocolate has caramel, or just pure caramel mm -hmm. at all. I can't eat it for the reason being. When I was younger, I got sick. I used to get my a lot of like my throat used to like close up all the time, mm -hmm. 
because I have what is that called? The um, things you're supposed to get removed. Tonsils. My tonsils. I never got my tonsils removed, which I should have, but I didn't because every time I would get sick, my tonsils would inflame. Mm -hmm. So then I don't know why, but like I couldn't taste anything when I was sick. So I was like, let me just get you know those Hershey like caramel bottles uh -huh. that you put like on ice cream. Yeah. I was eight, bro. Okay. What did you do? You... Yeah, I was like, let me just like, uh, oh. and then I had that because it was the only thing that I could taste for like a week, mm -hmm. and I had that for like a week, and then after that I could never, never taste caramel again in my life but that's, that was like i was eight so i was like this is the only thing i could story. taste and it's like sugary and i can't have caramel anything and i used to like caramel when i was younger i used to, I like, used caramel, to like waffles but, but then every single morning I don't, I don't it was waffles, waffles 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 the lego my egos that, that waffle mm. and now i can't not have waffles. so and then people are like but pancakes are the same thing but i'm like okay but in my head so you waffles. like that type of food no. i don't you don't like pancakes I'm not a breakfast person. Like breakfast. Oh, food. That's a whole separate thing. I don't like breakfast either. I almost always get a stomachache with breakfast. Oh no, no, yeah. That's almost because always. like that's because like I don't know. We're probably the same. I wake up and I can't eat anything. My stomach is like this small, and I'm like I can't eat anything until like lunch. But I also don't like breakfast food. Like burgers oh, you're a are gringo. my life. I love burgers. You're a gringo. Maybe there's a place <laughs> around here that has mac and cheese in their burgers. So that's you like so your good. favorite. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Um, that's um. Killer Mounts. Killer Mounts. Yeah, I've never been there. Like personally, I've never been. There. It's a good place, and they even have another one that's a French toast burger. So instead of buns, it's French toast, but yeah, the actual like French that. toast is like syrupy. It's yeah, so like that. disgusting. Yeah. But it's so good. Oh, like. Nah, I wanna like that. Like, it's disgusting, but it's good. Like. I wouldn't like that. Very Let's see what else. Okay, so we technically went to Burger King, but uh, I want you guys to subscribe because we are gonna go to Burger King and we're gonna do a full Burger King mukbang. I'm talking about full fries, chicken nuggets, I'm gonna bless burgers. Your life with Burger King. Um, I mean, we're not gonna do these. We're probably gonna do these again, but, but well, like I don't others. know. Those are Hershey this is pies, gonna like um no. Burgers. Mmm. Too bad. You know what? Well, sometimes this Wendy's is a good combination, by the way. But... Milkshake with pumpkin spice. Yeah, we're Girl, don't do it. It's not worth it. I'm not gonna do it, girl. I was just thinking about it. I'm not gonna do it. I did it. Oh, man. This is like overwhiting, bro. This is disgusting. Kinda. I did a milkshake one time when I was like younger. A lot of things about me when I was younger. I used to vent a lot and with food. It would be with food like I like to like do things. I told my dad, let's make a milkshake, like an actual milkshake, like with like in like the 1950s milkshake with like Coca-Cola and like dulce de leche, and like I just randomly did that because we had um an ice cream, like the glass ice cream cup, you know, that goes oh, yeah, like that, I had that too. from that, yeah. Uh -huh. So I had that and we did it in there. We put ice cream in it, we put Coke in it, uh, we put dulce de leche, whipped cream. Dude, that shit tasted horrible. Because, like, it sounds amazing. I know, but like, I you have to do it with measurements. We just went, <laughs> rah, 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 rah. let's see. I think this is a good mix and like mix that uh -huh. together, put some whipped cream on it. It was like intense. I, I think I put too much. Oh, because we have milk in it too. So it was milk and Coke and like, caramel. I don't know. No, no, no caramel. Leche. Dulce de leche. And dude, I don't know. We've And ice cream. So it was like, that's that what was I, enough. We like, thought what like, that's what a flow is. Like, when you would you see it. You don't need it, the milk. <laughs> No, I know, but like the milk adds another like thing to it. I, I don't guess. know. I guess. I don't think you need the milk because naturally, like just a flow, a regular normal flow. Mm -hmm. It's just a few scoops of ice cream and Coke. That's, and it? that's it. It makes the same texture, whatever, of a milkshake. Like it's that. Oh. So for you to add milk on top of that, I feel like, wow. I don't know. Yeah, I know. I don't, know. I don't know. I feel like the but, one we'd made had too much Coca Cola. I think that that was the problem. But floats are awesome. But do say let's 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100 percent recommend. Oh, I with know. Coca -Cola. Now I know because I love. <laughs> like Duce you're leche. gonna put like a little mini Coke, get a can of do say let's. Sorry, I'm burping a lot. Get a can of mini Coke and get a, a can of do say let's and like mix it together and I guess put your little ice cream in there and see what happens. <laughs> That's a float. <laughs> Bro, we're just like here for the food, period, and that's about it. Like, who knows? Oh, what, are we gonna do pizza next? Like, I don't know. I I'm doing pizza, pizza for dinner. <laughs> I love I'm, pizza. I'm doing pizza for dinner. Okay, what right? do you like? Domino's, Papa John's? I don't care. I love any pizza. Any pizza, period. I like Domino's. Yeah, I like Domino's too. The pan pizza. Mm -hmm. Have you tried the pan pizza? It's a thick ass mm. pizza. Huh. Thank you. Thank you. Huh. My family, they like the thin cracker thing. No, and I'm like, I'm so God, sad with I that. Hate that. I love bread. I love cheese. And I love Crust. sauce. Sauce. Crust. 
sauce, bro. I'm like a sauce person with anything. The pan pizza is amazing. And a friend of mine got me on putting, instead of the red sauce, to put barbecue sauce. Oh, barbecue. I thought that was the I thought weirdest you were say thing in the sauce. world. No, no, no. I thought it was the weirdest thing in the world to do barbecue instead of the red okay, sauce. Okay, so what's your dominant order? But it's actually really good. Huh? Well, so what's your dominant order? Pan pizza. Pan pizza. And barbecue sauce. That's it? A cheese? Barbecue sauce, pan pizza. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. No toppings. No, I'm not used really? to it. Like I mean, okay. I'm sure it's delicious, but I'm not used to it. Speaking so of like, pizza you've never even had like pepperoni on a pizza. No. Ever. Ever. In your life. In my life. What does pepperoni taste like? I don't know. I don't know. What? Pepperoni. <laughs> you've never had a pepperoni pizza. Listen, I was a like very that's picky, so basic picky, though. Picky, that's like such picky. basic food. I was super picky. So in my head, I was like. No, breaking I'm news <laughs> I'm like freaking out over here You've never had pepperoni pizza Like what? You don't like chocolate Yeah but I've that had it before be breaking news But I've had it before You've never no. had pepperoni pizza no. And you're 20 well, years old What the, the hell? <laughs> when I took the pepperoni Off the pizza Just to have another slice Because we ran out of cheese pizza mm -hmm. I still taste it You can still taste it But if that's, that's as far as I've gone I don't, I don't Okay, so let me... Okay, this is my orders at Domino's before we get to... Because we're, like, too fast, bro. <laughs> so my orders at Domino's is whatever... I don't care the breading because I have sometimes I have to have the cracker one because of my parents or whatever. But I like the Fredo sauce with the mushrooms and the onions. Alfredo. And sometimes... The Fredo sauce is... It's like the, it's like the one they put on mm -hmm. uh, Fettuccine Alfredo, but instead on the pizza. So you on like it, as the sauce instead, oh, of, oh. instead of tomato sauce, it's Alfredo sauce. So imagine that thick pan pizza yeah. with Alfredo sauce and cheese on it. Okay. It's fire. Okay, it's fire. But I'll try that. I, if you I try recommend. The barbecue. No, yeah, I'll try the barbecue. <laughs> I don't care. But the thing is, like, I don't know. I'm not really a barbecue wow. sauce person. I don't put barbecue sauce on like stuff it's like that. It's very thin. It's not like a straw. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! It's all you taste is barbecue. Mm -hmm. Barbecue sauce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's fine. But Alfredo, that's very interesting. It's really good. It's like it's like I don't know. You're not expect you're expecting like something else, but it's so fire. But I like to put, put mushrooms. On top. I put mushrooms and onions because that's just me. I but like I, don't I like I don't mushrooms. I like onions. I just never Thank done God, this topping. Because some people don't like mushrooms. I'm like, bro. Mushrooms are like low key. A lot of people don't know about it, but it's really good. Like mm -hmm. on anything. And the mushrooms from Samurai. I was just thinking. Oh yes, bro. Yes, you bro. Be on the same mm -hmm. level right Yo, we just food. foodies, bro. We just foodies, and we know what we know, and Summer we know what we like. Really and that's period. Good. I know. Oh man, yes. I haven't been. It's on the butter. The last it's time on the I butter, went bro. was actually in New York, not even here. The last time I went was in New York. Mm. Like after walking around some big ass museum, we went to Benny, Samurai. Benihana, Samurai. Oh, Benihana. 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 Yeah. It was really good. Yeah. Oh man. Wow. It was really, really good. I mean, I, I haven't been to Benihana in a while, but Samurai, I had during the um during the unprecedented times oh. <laughs> and um it wasn't as good because it was cold that it wasn't it wasn't garden. cold it was not warm but they cooked it right in front of you how was it not warm no during these unprecedented times you have to go pick it up and then take it home and the one the samurai we have here is by the falls so that's like a good 30 minutes that's dedication i wouldn't know Oh no, but we're, we were like, uh, what is it called? Craving samurai, you know what I mean? It's not like you yeah. could do it at home. It's when a craving comes in, all, all the all Yo, cards you know are on the table. I mean? You're yeah, trying to get those like shrimp, mushrooms, and uh, like that chicken. But the and, vegetable like, steam, like that's really yes, good. Yes, I know, oh, I know, wow. I know, I know, I know. That was the first time I tried those those vegetables. And the or, pink sauce. Like, yeah. Nobody on likes everything. the other sauce. Nobody on likes the other sauce. No. The other sauce is like, who is that? No, my family, we always ask for double. So we're like, oh, you have to double. Yeah, so we yeah, have yeah. the mm -hmm. double of mm -hmm. that pink sauce. And you put that mm -hmm. on everything. Everything. The rice, the chicken, everything, mm -hmm. everything. And oh, you gotta, it's like, good. It's not even double. It's like times 16. Because, like, can I have more? On top of that, when they more? serve the rice for everyone else, my dad stops the, co the chef and mm. he's like, okay, now put a lot of garlic butter on the oh, rice. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, the man yeah. just... There's a mm -hmm. scoop of garlic butter and puts it on the rice, and it's just and so And you know much what better. I don't like from from there is the soup. I don't. It's have very it. so liquid. Like I don't think it's I don't like it. anything. No. I don't know. It's because I like the I soup. I drink it. All, I drink it. Eat it. <laughs> like mm -hmm. whatever, because it's the first thing you get, mm -hmm. rather than a salad. I don't, I don't like their salad. Have you tried their salad? Oh, Do you, like you salad? know, you know why I like. Oh no, yeah, I like salad. I but like you know why theirs. I like their they salad? Have a weird dressing. The ginger. I love ginger. That's why. The ginger is very specific. It's very specific to your taste. If you like ginger, it's really good uh, for the salad. The thing is that they have like um, shredded ginger on it. 
So if you like ginger, it's really good. I'm talking like if you guys never been to Benihana's the Samurai. I'm, per, I'm pretty sure everyone has been to Benihana's the Samurai. It's a place where Samurai. it cooks in front of you. They but have the cook if you like ginger, it's really good. I was gonna start doing like ginger shots and stuff, but there's no ginger shots here like in the morning because I love ginger. Ginger is so good. But like if you don't like ginger, like that makes sense. Personally, soup, I think it's the dressing that they put on the Which salad. is the ginger. That's the ginger? Oh, yeah, that's well, what that, I'm talking about. I don't like the dressing that. is ginger. And that's what I don't like. Yeah, I love it. But so that's why I take the soup rather than... The oh, I, 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 yeah, exactly. I do the salad. I don't like soups that are like broth. Of course. I like the more creamy, like tomato soup. Have you been to Olive Garden? They have good soup. Yeah, yeah. They have good yeah, soup. Of course, I've been to Olive Garden. They have the creamy Hello. white soup, the gnocchi soup. They have like jumped up things, I think. I'm gonna like correct those. you. Gnocchi. Gnocchi, oh my god. Gnocchi. Sorry, I've never been to Gnocchi. Italy. You have. <laughs> oh no, it's just like I took Italian in high school and that traumatized me. <laughs> <laughs> like it literally traumatized me. They have me. a lot. They have the Toscana. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Um, and the pasta fajol. That's really good. It's all really good. Very creamy. You know what good. I used to love at Olive Garden and took away? Mm -hmm. You know what? To be honest with you, since I went to Italy, Olive Garden has kind of been on the back burner. Because I would imagine you went to Italy. Exactly. Like... And when I tell that to people, they're like, oh, my bad. I'm like, I'm saying, I'm just saying Olive Garden is not that good once you go to Italy and you try real Italian well, food. Well, it's the same thing with it's New York like... pizza. You could say the same thing. Everything else is not pizza. Oh, no, I don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know explain it. But just in general, like Olive Garden's food, not to say anything bad about Olive Garden if you guys want to sponsor me. You know, right here. <laughs> but I'm just saying, after you go to Italy, it's just like, I'm pretty sure Olive Garden understands this too. Once you try Italian food that's like naturally made mm -hmm. from the ground, because over there everything's not canned and processed uh -huh, and stuff. So like it's you, different. You, exactly. And the other reason, now this is something, I, this is personal Olive Garden. They took away the chicken Marcella. That's the only thing I'll eat there. Which is the stuffed chicken marcella, which is two pieces of chicken and stuffed and has mushrooms on it and mashed potato. And you know how I feel about mushrooms. Mm -hmm. So I was like, yo, that's why I ate at literally at Olive Garden for like 15 plus years. I want to say 15 plus years, but like, I don't know. And they took it out. And they took it out like recently. And I was like, dog, I'm not going to Olive Garden if there's no chicken marcella because. I, sorry. ever since they opened the Olive Garden that's really close mm -hmm. to here around mm -hmm. now, it's. It's been dangerous. Like, now we just go over all the time. Like, every week, like, on mm. Fridays and stuff, for, oh, we'll just go for soup and bread. Oh, but you guys eat in? Yeah. Yeah, we are So, we just, oh, okay, we'll just go oh, for soup and bread. Oh, we did that once, actually. We did it once. It's good. Okay, guys. So, me and Patty, you know how we are. We ramble a lot. Like, if you guys <laughs> haven't seen our last collab, go make sure you check it out. Give that video a thumbs up after you finish watching this video. Because, guess what? We're at the end of this video. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit all over the place. That's how me and Patty are. And she's probably going to get mad at me because I edit out some things. And I was like, mm, Patty, you know Quality what I mean? Content you know what I mean? That you're missing out on, just so you know. But you could get more of me anywhere you want. Make my video is all over video. the place. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you, Patty, for coming back on my YouTube channel. Next time, we're going to do a Burger King. Not next time, but soon enough, we'll go to Burger King and try those things out. I have a lot of new projects coming out soon, so make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification button so you guys can see every time I post. And I post new videos every Wednesday slash Sunday. Sometimes I forget, so like, don't hate on me. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, Patty.